Welcome everyone to a quick tech tip here live on our channel. It was brought to me just the other day on our amazing community that you probably went out and brought an SSD or another one or many of the many, right? You plug it in. Obviously I don't need to make a tech tip video how to install it or drop it while installing it. But you would expect that these days operating systems and stuff, you plug it in, it works at its best performance. But spoiler, spoiler alert, no it doesn't. And I knew about advanced sector format that is already a thing for over a decade. Advanced AF format for disk sectors because the thing is historically since the 70s or so, the hard drives were usually using 512 byte sectors if they were not using some other strange stuff like 400 and whatnot and so on. But usually the IT industry standard, standardized, especially with the IBM PC and other surrounding home mini computers, 512 byte sectors. That includes some gaps, some synchronization, some address mark, then the 512 byte payload and stuff. And obviously in the beginning, my first, my father's first, first hard drive was 40 megabyte, 512 byte sectors, Certainly good enough for most things. But not only does it eventually increasingly become large numbers to address those potentially um, terabytes and stuff, but also it wastes increasingly um, space for synchronizations, gaps in synchronizations and stuff. So compacting that to 4K sectors actually not only improves addressing potentially for 32-bit but even 64-bit processors for gigabyte and terabyte or exabyte marks but also efficiency right and while eventually this advanced vector format sector format was invented for improving efficiency here also then this shingled magnetic recording right where the hard drive anyway needs to override multiple sectors or tracks uh, for this even more efficient yet less performance coding the same is true for SSDs because there is a massive overhead of wear leveling because usually initially those SSD flash cells could only be written a thousand times and obviously you want to write data more than a thousand times, right? Obviously not you, but the operating system with updates, with timestamps and all the other temporary data. So with SSDs, while the initial thumb drive SSDs died quickly, like when you wrote a thousand times, right? Remember the very first USB thumb drives from 20 years ago, where leveling was invented, especially with those high performance SSDs of these days. By the way, not a paid advertisement, just the random stuff I have on my desk. And this is where leveling, of course, if the operating system addresses 512 byte sectors, where leveling has more overhead, eight times overhead, if it would use 4K sectors, right? So that is the summary, that is the theory, right? And you would expect, I knew we switched to 4K sectors over a decade ago, right? Linux, the first hard drive was shipped in the year 2000, um, 2010 here, uh, I believe, or in August 2005, Seagate shipped the test drives with 1K physical sectors, even industry partners for testing. In 2010, industry standards for the first official generation of long data sectors using configuration of 4096 bytes per sector of 4K sectors and um, so on. And you would think 15 years later, if you just plug it in, it would, would use 4K sectors, right? Because that is what I assumed, right? And I'm an operating system <laughs> programmer and running with this Linux version. It took only to yesterday or the day before yesterday that someone mentioned to me, like, by the way, do you know that all the NVM ESSDs run with 512 emulated sectors? Like, no, do you, what the heck? And it turns out, yes, I checked this. Every single SSD I have here running is running in better relative performance mode, LBA format zero, data size 512 bytes, 4K relative performance best. So while all the operating systems since the year around 2010 for over a decade support 4K vectors, Linux kernel, since 2.6, 30 something, util Linux for formatting. I even remember um, because util Linux, the Linux utility distribution, 
switched to align even partitions, hard drive partitions, right? Originally they were just aligned from the first available, not wasting any space on your precious 20 or 40 megabyte hard drive in 1986 or so. And it annoyed me when I have vintage and retro SCSI hard drives with only a gigabyte or two only wasting some sectors. So optimizing that, right? I'm aware that Linux creates partitions optimizing for 4K vectors already for over 13 years. And so is it written here somewhere on the fine print? Like, hey, make sure. So how do you switch this, right? Unfortunately, so you can, you can fix this and okay, you don't lose that much performance. It might be about 10%, but hey, who would not want to get free 10% performance out of their NVMe SSD, right? Um, so unfortunately to format this, do I have this in the history form? Oh no, I have this in the history here. So also here, so it's, this is a Steam Deck, right? And do the vendors know that? No, the, apparently the vendor is also not aware because this is a Steam Deck. Um, here, um, we not have that Jupiter one, AMD custom APU 0405. And so how to query that, right? So NVMe, a Linux command line utility for NVMe ID namespace dash H will print that out for you, including LBA format zero. It's even marked as also it's a little bit misleading, right? Industry standards. Hey, this is better performance. Yeah, but that is the best. It's like you also maybe that is probably NVMe CLI takes it from the standards, but anyway. Um, also, I noticed, so I, I nearly never use the NVE, NVMe tool, like raise your hand if you ever use this tool, NVMe, for namespace partitioning and other fine tricks. I also realized that only now that I look at it, it also printed usually from smart, although I don't run smart data too often and even, yes, it's there, smart control dash A, supported ABA sizes, namespace ID, format, plus minus data, relative performance. And so that is the fission. So that is all NVMe SSDs I found in the company and I tested all. The only that doesn't is the Samsung, but shame on Samsung, it's, they don't even support it. It's like, <laughs> it's, you can't make this stuff up, right? So that is Western Digital Black, PCIe 4, I oh know that is Samsung 990 Pro, two terabyte. So yeah, they, they don't support this, supported ABA sizes, NVMe. So if you're using, I, I thought that's a good S SSD, but now I, now I know better in terms of better and best. Now I know best. And the Western Digital Black supports this as well here, as you see, smart data, sizes, right? NVMe, yeah. oh, just ID and S. Uh, which one is it now? This one, right? So that is a, so that one is smart data, right? in use. Also, this is, this is funny. That's not, and all the vendors use other encodings, right? Have you, have you seen the, the fission encodes this as best and better? The Western Digital encodes this as better and good. And even um, Steam Valve with the Steam Deck does not care. So how to fix this? You run NVMe with format, you format the namespace. Unfortunately, this will lose all the data. So NVMe um, format dash dash LBA LB format one here of those ABA format. Um, yeah, this will lose all your data. So I also wonder like why, I mean, maybe there is a hack, leave me in the comments below. Also, this is not widely known, right? Um, I googled that, there is not so much about this, that's why you probably want to share like subscribe for our amazing low level everything we find, all bugs, all performance marginalities. And I'm shocked that this is not the default, right? I certainly applaud, similar to the ZAS drives, right? Everything we find here, like the power uh, reset pin there on the ZAS cables where everyone basically agreed like why is it not a jumper, why is it not, why is it not pulled down for reset or whatever, um, at least invert, why is it not a jumper or a NVMe 
program option. And similar here, why is it not the default, right? Like if you buy a high-end drive, you want a high-end experience and performance, right? And not waste 10% plus minus, give or take, your mileage may vary. For backward compatibility for Linux kernel 2.6 or Windows, I don't know, Vista? Windows XP also? Probably Vista. It's like here. Yeah. Um, and certainly if you wanted to plug it in, in a much older system, I mean, maybe I can understand for 2010, but not for 2020, right? Not for 2023. And certainly if you desperately want to plug it into a very, 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 very old system, then certainly you can run some com utility, right? For me, this also means like, yeah, basically if I want to know more here is like, yeah, for example, Windows Vista, where do we have? Uh, having a huge number of legacy 512 sectors. By the way, the, the ZAS drives, you can also switch between 512e emulation, right? So, because the thing is, emulating 512 byte sectors emulated takes performance, right? Cost performance. Around 10%, usually because eight times the management overhead and potentially having short writes and having to read write stuff um, for all the additional overhead. And they write even Windows Vista with certain hotfixes installed support 512e, but not 4kn. So yeah, that probably would be whatever came after Windows 8 or whatever. OS 10 Mountain Lion additionally supports encryption source. Here's actually like, wait a second, what do you have uh, as to the quantum reversions of Linux? What do we have having number? Anyway, whatever. Um, so with the SAS drives, you can also control that if you want. 4K native, that's certainly what you want to run, right? Since April 2014, enterprise class 4K native hard drives have been available on the market and a decade later it's not the default for NVMEs. Also, especially, I can understand for serial ATA stuff from a decade ago, right? But latest with PCIe NVMe, I mean, the chances that even when this was new, four or five years or whenever ago, it's the chances that you plug in a M.2 PCIe SSD into a board loading some so old operating systems that it doesn't support 4K sectors is probably next to zero. And again, if you wanted to target this, you could always toggle that, right? Um, yeah, it is It is crazy that, is, that this is the default and that ne nearly never nobody knows about this. And the consequence for me is even with our Linux distribution, right, that we run for 25 years, now it's theoretically because you can't, cannot run time switch this, right? If we want to have this in the installer, this means two more packages in our early initial RAM disk that Linux systems usually load the init RD. And this is lib NVMe and NVMe CLI tool just to control this. And theoretically, should we make an UI about this? Because if I just add the utilities, so certainly the technical depth of supporting all those legacy and because theoretically if, if we just add the utility and nobody knows about this so it should be maybe a warning in the installation menu popping up like hey your storage is not running and it's better or best performance mode and do you want to reformat it <laughs> eh, if you have a backup and last but not least I really wonder that they were so lazy not to implement this because internally certainly always works on 4k or even larger block sizes so that this cannot be simply a runtime switch is also a little bit silly in my opinion as silly as it is not to run it by default so yeah probably go out there check your NVMe maybe reformat it the next time you reinstall your operating system I hope you enjoyed this learned something the block size advanced format page is here. Let's check the also like leave, leave in the comments. Did you know about this or is that new to you too? Have you ever changed the format? And the funny thing is 
I googled this and there was one popular Windows thing, so NVMe 4K vector. Let's see if, like as you see, not very much. It's like, these are the top results. It's like, go, share, like, subscribe, tell your neighbors, friends and family about our channel. Um, this tech power-up is of course funny, of course, because people like, is there really difference? Like, yeah, YOLO did reinstall, didn't notice much of a difference. It's like, yeah, I mean, 10%, like NVMe is snappy and 10% difference. Like, obviously, if you just boot Windows and run a game, of course, you will not notice 10% snappy of snappy. It's like, it's good or good or better. <laughs> In that terms here, good or better. It's like, yeah, you had good enough, better performance. Of course, you only see this in embarrassingly I.O. load benchmarks, like compiling our Linux distribution. Um, but then, of course, you want all the performance, right? Installing, like compiling 32 threads or 128 threads, RAID zeroing a couple of NVMe drives for like 10 gig a second throughput. It's like, yeah, obviously you want 11 gigabyte instead of 10 gigabyte throughput of your three drive for eight zero array. Anyway, quick comments here, trap exits. Trap exit says, most drives still use 512 by default. Some USB drives will present 4K, but underlying device 512, even enterprise. Yeah, and you can switch this if you want. Now, you, now we know. Recently had to change second drive NVMe until, like yeah, I've not yet um, theoretically, I, I should have checked this, by the way, this looks so. You probably want to subscribe to my OnlyFans for the hottest tech photos daily. Uh, recently invested into a nice, like, look at this. Is this, this, is not, is this not a beauty? If that is not, then I don't know what is. 960, I believe, gigabyte of precious. Intel Optane, I've not tested that because... Um, my my PCI adapter is not hot plug, so <laughs> I will test this soon. I have that here for test setups and storage area network build out. And uh, probably I will drop a comment when I have time to test this. Eric says in Arch Wiki, paid attention, align my partitions properly, and then yeah, that's what I mean, right? For t for for over a decade we pre we preciously align our partitions, but nobody told us that this bloody drives you lead. Like, leave in the comments below, is there one manufacturer, which probably there is not, probably they all fear compatibility, right? The worst thing having to do with customer support and the one Joe user customer plugging it into a Windows XP machine and it doesn't just work, right? So obviously they all switch to 500, they all opt to 512 emulated sector size just so that the oldest stuff humble Joe user could find in their basement would still work and not bother their tech support or verse RMA stuff. Um, Eric says for them it shows good 512 byte and better 4K. Um, yeah, fun and um, Leave in the comments. I will probably make, as usual, a poll. Let's see how many people knew about this. Now you know. Tell the world. Go out. Tell the world. And go in and reformat your NVMe drive. But you are your own warranty. Have backups. And your mileage may vary. And leave the results. Your findings. Which of your dr drives come with what by default. And what's your performance improvement. Comment below. Have a good day and night. And see you soon for the next.